with DIY Boom Boxes in the great state of Texas. And I'm doing a little video that was requested by a few people uh, wanting to see the inside of the wiring of these boxes in more detail and for me to explain uh, the wiring and how I do a little wiring tutorial of how I do the wiring on the boxes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different styles. Uh, of course, you're all familiar with the one I just finished right here, the one that has the four-inch speakers in the front with that beautiful, beautiful paint job, if I do say so myself. And I love this paint. It's incredible. It's going on my big boom box, but that's a subject for another day. Uh, the other one I'm going to do is a little bit different style. This is the Houston Texans box that I did a while back. You guys saw the eight-part tutorial I did on this one. And, of course, this one has the larger speakers mounted on the side because these speakers will not fit side by side on the front. These are four inch speakers, these are five and a quarter. And this one, uh, this unit is Bluetooth only. Uh, this, the Houston Texans box has the Bluetooth with FM built into it. So on this one here, the amplifier has the Bluetooth built into the amplifier. So you don't need anything extra. On this unit here, it has just a regular amplifier with no Bluetooth, and the Bluetooth actually comes from the FM radio that's, that's built into this nice little FM decoder. And th these are fantastic. These are seven bucks at Amazon, and they're absolutely fantastic. So anyway, sit back and relax. Um, Duke's going to make an appearance at the end of the show, so I hope you guys can stick around for that. Uh, see Duke. Everybody loves Duke. If this is your first time you're seeing one of my videos, Duke is my cat. And he loves to get in front of the camera. So anyway, y'all, uh, check it out. Um, about to start the show. And we're going to start with the Bluetooth-only box. And after that, we're going to switch over to the Texans box. And I'm going to show you the inside and how I personally do my wiring. I use different colored wires for different things. And I'll explain that, you know, for anything coming from the battery, I'm going to use a red wire for the positive, a black wire for the negative. And then when the wire is coming back from the switch I use a white wire for the power and I use a yellow wire for the ground. The reason I do that is this way if there's a trouble inside the box or something's not working I know which wires are coming from the switches and which wires are connected directly to the battery and it makes troubleshooting a whole lot easier but you're going to see that in just a minute. I went ahead and pre-recorded all this before I'm doing my little monologue here so sit back relax as Bob Ross says get your big old glass of iced tea and relax and uh, enjoy the show. Okay everybody, I've now got the box open as you can see and I have it angled a little bit so we can see the inside and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be zooming in on different parts and showing you how the wiring all comes together. So we're going to look at the wiring on this box and then we're going to look at the wiring on my Texans box. So let's start over here. Let me zoom in a little bit and I'll be pointing different things. Okay, obviously, you can see right here, you can see we have the battery right here. Now, I have the battery turned sideways, so it has a lower profile, and it clears the battery connector that comes right here. Now, this is where the power comes in from the battery charger to plug the battery. Now, the way I do my wiring is anything coming from the battery or going to the battery is going to be red for the positive and black for the negative. So you can see right here my main connection it, where all the negatives come together is right here and this is where all the positives come together right here. And as you can see up here I have a fuse. The fuse is connected directly to the battery then everything on the back side of the battery is running through the fuse and running to this main connector right here. Now, I also continue the red wires as we go over to the switches. You can see I have two red wires these are these are coming from the battery from power over to the switches because the switches have to have power so when you get to the switches as you can see right here there's a red wire coming in to provide power for the switches as you can see right here now whatever is leaving the, the switch normally I would do in white and to, the white wire is the hot wire coming from the switch and taking power to wherever it's going. In this case, I'm going to show you guys right here, as you follow the white wire as it comes down over here to the amplifier. 
Let me try to zoom in on that a little bit. So you can see right here is where the power comes in to the amplifier. And we also have a black wire going to the amplifier as well, going back over here to our junction point. Now the other thing I do is you see this yellow wire right here? My yellow wires are the ground wires coming from the switch going back. This way if I have to troubleshoot I know that if I see a yellow wire that's going to be a ground wire and the white wire is going to be coming from the switch carrying 12 volts to whatever it's powering. In this case it's going to be the amplifier. Now, I did something a little bit different here. Let me back out a little bit. As you can see right here Come on now. That's the, right here, of the voltage meter and the USB port. Now they came with their own jumper wires, so you can kind of wire them together and jump them over here. And you can see here I jumped the ground from this switch over to this switch. And I also jumped the hot going from this switch over to this switch. So this switch now has the hot wire coming in and go over here and it again it jumps from here to here because the one switch is controlling both the voltmeter and the USB port. This switch over here is the master switch as you can see the white wire comes over here and plugs into the amplifier It has a Bluetooth built into it. And as you can see right here again all of my hot wires coming from the battery come together at this point and all the grounds come together at this point. So that's basically all it is to the wiring, and uh, I'll show you right here. Now this is where the battery charger actually plugs in. So we've got a black wire going straight to the battery, and a red wire going straight to the battery as well. That's why those are black and red. Again, the, the, I only use the yellow wire, which is the ground coming from the switches, and I'll show you that better when you look at the, uh, the other box. But basically, that's just a quick tour of the inside of a Bluetooth-only box. Uh, very simple. Again, you got your amplifier here. And you can see the speaker wires coming out down here. This is your power that plugs in right here. If I can get that unplugged here. I got arthritis, so it's kind of hard for me to move my hands. But you can see right there, there's the hot coming from the switch and the ground. And it's going to plug in that hole right there. And, of course, you can see the speakers poking through right there. And that's basically all there is to these boxes. These, if this is your first project, it's very, very simple. And if you're one of the people that are just watching my channel and you want me to build you a box, I just want to show you the quality wiring job that I do. Now, normally, this is all full of insulation. You can see I have the insulation back here. I took the insulation out for photographic purposes. But uh, you can see it's just... Uh, very very basic. Okay now I'm going to show you the inside of the Houston Texans box because it's got a radio built in and a bigger amplifier so it's a little bit different setup so let's take a look at the inside of that and I, I hope this helped um, understand the basics wiring for the box. So I'll be right back. Okay everybody we're back and now we're going to look at the inside of the Texans box it's uh, wired up very similar to the other one. It's got a little bit more stuff in it, so I thought I'd just kind of walk you through it to uh, see what it takes to do a Bluetooth with FM radio. Uh, we'll start over here with the uh, box. Let me zoom in here real quick. Now you can see with this one, I've got a uh, much bigger amplifier. This one's about twice the size of the other one. And you can see right here, the amplifier is actually sitting on top of the battery. It's the only place I had some room for it. I did put a port tube on this one just to try something a little bit different. This one does have larger speakers. Uh, you can see the speakers are mounted in the sides. Right here, these are five and a quarter inch speakers. The other one had four inch speakers. And let me show you over here the wiring for the speaker, for the, uh, the radio and everything. Again, you can see on the switches, we have the red wire coming in here, bringing power from the battery. We have the white wire right here that's taking power out and heading back out to the amplifier to turn on the main, main power. We also have, again, over here, we have the red wire coming in for power. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. Uh, white wire is the switch coming out 
and that one runs over here to again run the USB port and the, you can actually see the white wires coming in right here to offer power to power these up. The yellow wire coming out again is the ground. You can see right here the ground coming off the switch and right up here I kind of tied the grounds together and we have more grounds. We also right here have the negative and positive for the radio itself and then these right here are the speaker wires for the FM radio with Bluetooth and right here this little tiny little wire right here is actually the antenna and you can see you also want to you know tighten your wires up really nice and neat with some zip ties and keep everything nice and neat this junction right here these two uh, connectors here are actually where the speaker wires join the actually these are the wires that are actually going to the amplifier but they are the speaker wires coming from the radio here and coming together here and coming down as you can see down to the amplifier now I want to show you a little setup I have real quick here let me see if I can move the camera here so you can see this real quick this little device right here is called a ground loop isolator and you can see this is where the speaker wires come in and this little adapter plugs in to this device right here the ground loop isolator and you can see the ground loop isolator plugs into the amplifier right here what this device does is sometimes when you have a Bluetooth circuit and an amp coming from this radio here you're gonna get some humming and the ground loop isolator will eliminate that hum and give you a nice crystal clear sound again you can see the battery right there underneath and of course right here just like you saw on the other one that's where the battery charger plugs in to plug in the battery and charge the battery now on this one I have an internal antenna so you see this blue wire that I have that wraps all the way around like that what that does that comes from this yellow antenna wire comes down over here and you can see right here in this uh, little connector right there let me see if I can zoom in on that you can see right here this little connector the blue wire is connected to the antenna wire right here and then the antenna wire makes a loop inside the box now you you can't really get away with this in a metal box because the metal box is going to shield the antenna but in a plastic box you can get away with this and it's a great way to make a cheap antenna I've probably got oh I don't know maybe 16 or 20 feet of wire coiled around right here in a loop and it just terminates somewhere in here we had a little connect I just pulled the insulation off in there and again if you zoom in you can also see we have some speaker wires down here with the connectors coming from the amplifier right here and uh, right here um, you can see right there let's see if I can zoom in on it here these red black wires are the power that are going to the amplifier so I, what, what I did was the power coming off the radio is also tied in to the switch here that's, that's controlling it and with the amplifier they're all tied together and that's what turns on the amplifier and the radio simultaneously now you can see right here these two connectors this is where all my hot wires are coming from the battery after they're going through a fuse you always want to fuse your projects first so anything coming from the battery goes through a fuse first that protects your components and then right here you can see the yellow and the black grounds the blacks are coming from the battery the yellows are coming from the switches and we also have a black coming from the amplifier itself and they're all tied together right here and um, the wiring it looks looks a little intimidating it's not that bad as long as you take your time again you know try to make your wires look you know nice and neat and everything and you can see it's uh where I cut the hole there for the radio it's a little bit of a rough cut and uh, got it held in with some screws and just take your time in uh, wiring something like this but that's basically all there is to it uh, if you guys have any questions please let me know I think Duke's over here talking let's see if we can say hello to Duke real quick hi Duke kitty, 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 kitty. Duke come here there's Duke the Wonder Cat let me see if I get him to Oh, he's doing his own thing right now, being Duke. 
Anyway, so that's the inside of the Texans box and the other box. I hope this helped answer some questions about the wiring. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Just um, like I said, I like to use different colors to represent what's ha what's happening. So I use red coming from the battery for the positive, black coming from the battery for the negative, and the uh, amplifiers. The yellow wires are going to the ground coming from the switches, and the white wires, as you can see, are the hot wires coming from the switch going to different components. And that's how it'll trace things down if I have a problem. These are fun projects to build. As you can see, if you're one of my customers, how I do the wiring all nice and neat and try to do good quality work. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Let me see if I can say hello to Duke one more time. There's Duke. Say hi, Duke. Kitty, kitty, kitty. He says hi to everybody. And you guys, thanks for watching. And I hope this video helps. Have any questions, let me know. Please subscribe to my channel, DIYBoomBoxes.com. I mean, uh, DIY Boom Boxes. And um, check me out on Facebook at I Love All Things Radio. There's Duke. Let's see if I can pan back a little bit. We can get a good shot of him there. There he is. He's having a good time. So Duke says hello. So from for Duke, myself, everybody have a great evening. And we'll talk to you later. Bye, Duke.